53 years and still counting. A remarkable journey made. Go to the ends of the world and preach the good news. Our Lady of Africa Mbuya Parish has indeed evangelized to the near and far. This is Mbuya Now, the journey after the global pandemic. With the global pandemic in the economic driving seat, the daily life path was pretty much channeled to the digital space. Mbuya Parish introduced online mass starting from Facebook on the official parish Facebook page, starting at a leap of 4,500 likes. Later, the online mass was streamed live on a newly opened up parish YouTube channel, starting at zero subscribers. The parish social media platforms have grown remarkably with new likes and subscribers. Facebook daily mass streaming grew from just 4,500 likes to over 10,000 likes. YouTube daily mass streaming jumped from zero subscribers to now 3,070 and over 300 live viewers at every daily streaming, while Sunday mass streaming reaches out to between 1,200 and 1,300 live viewers. Daily Mass runs at 7 a.m. and at 1 p.m. Mondays through Fridays and only at 7 a.m. on Saturdays. Saturdays have been maintained for sacramentals such as weddings at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 1.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. Sunday Mass runs at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. and only the 7 a.m. Sunday Mass is in Luganda. Adding on the sacramentals, Mbuya Parish has not stopped at weddings alone, but it has continued to offer both online and physical sacramental classes for confirmation, first Holy Communion and baptism. These students have had their graduation ceremonies during the different church celebrations occasionally. In the same spirit, the parish has celebrated a number of memorials and funerals with and for the parishioners. However, the numbers of sacramental students have dropped drastically due to the after effects of the global pandemic of COVID-19 and the unstable economic times. These have not stalled the parish activities and operations at all. In fact, it has inspired more innovations and developments. Mbuya Parish website has been upgraded to be a one-stop online parish page. Embedded in it now is an online donation portal run by Mali Pay with an integration of the Sente Church collection powered by Centenary Bank to aid offertory and tithe payments from parishioners. The website also gives the online parishioner a direct access to the social media platforms and even better, a direct access to the digital Sunday bulletins, Sunday reflections and the latest parish news and announcements. While there is a soft copy of the Sunday Bulletin accessible on the parish website, the same is still available in hard copy every Sunday outside the church at only 500 Uganda shillings. Similarly, with the Sunday Reflections, a written copy is available on the website and the Sunday Bulletin hard copies, but short videos of the same are available on all the parish socials right before the start of the Holy Mass. Better still, the parish website is a direct access to the Mbuya Parish online radio that is now available and functional, fully and completely equipped. The church ministries in Mbuya Parish have also been modified and digitized. These are the youth apostolate that leads the way of the cross annually. I want to congratulate all the parishioners and all the youths of our Lady of Africa Mbuya upon reaching our 53rd parish day celebrations. Before the lockdown came in, we had a number of activities as the youth apostolate of this parish. For example, we had 
the conferences are, are organized by the youth apostolate. We had music, dance and drama. Now that the lockdown is, has come to an end, I want to call upon all the youths out there to come and we, and we re-energize our parish and we start implementing activities as far as the youth apostolate is concerned. For example, now we are preparing to have the National Youth Convention in December. The choir concerts and carols and the Komboni Music School to mention but a few. The media department has been harmonized and concretized in all forms. Webinars, documentaries as this, the online radio, website, Twitter, live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and a vibrant parish WhatsApp group, not leaving out the fully functional CCTV cameras. The parish has upgraded power supply from a single phase to a three phase. Catalans indicating the three phases. Phase one, red. Phase two, yellow. Phase one, I mean, phase three, blue. And it gives you the reading. Eh? It means the red is 230. It will keep on varying. Eh? When you see 230, keep on varying. We need the voltage. Eh? Yes, we need the red is in 236, but keep on varying. 220, keep on fluctuating. Eh? and procured a modern smart laser projector, an 85-inch Samsung smart television set to project in the church hall, a sound upgrade with a new digital system controlled wirelessly having 11 TOA speakers positioned, five outside the church and six inside. Mbuya Parish is now looking at future developments such as modifying Mother Mary's Grotto, construction of an adoration chapel, a pastoral center with a conference hall, modern toilets, rooms for choirs, an exit route to the main road and more parking space. The parish under the media team is running a mentorship program to groom young and passionate youngsters into media as volunteers. The parish has innovated and put in place a parishioner's registration system to manage parish projects and activities. This system embeds an accounting mechanism for easy record management of parish data. It is now looking at installing and equipping the entire church compound with solar power. All that said, the media team has been able to harvest a couple of achievements. It has moved countrywide to the Karamoja region for the Golden Jubilee of St. Kizito Hospital, Matani, to Arua district for the ordination of a Komboni priest and a seminarian, to Masaka for the Golden Marriage Anniversary of the parish priest's parents, to Soroti and Gulu for the priestly ordination, to Namugongo for the Mother's Day celebrations twice, to Mitiana and Munyonyo for a documentary on the Uganda Matters, home visits and charity drives for parishioners. The team will be heading to Agago district this November for the beatification of St. Ambrosoli in Uganda. All this has been made possible with the guidance and leadership of the parish priest, Father Anthony Chibira Chimboa, his assistant parish priest, Father John Bosco Mubangizi, and his curate, Father Nicholas Onyai. It has not been a smooth ride though. Mbuya Parish has faced a number of storms. Some Christians have failed to come back to church and some Christians in the diaspora are still left out because they are not yet aware of the available options to be part of their parish action again. On a brighter side, you, the parishioner, still have a lot and more you can do to help and support Mbuya Catholic Parish. The parish has facilities for hire, such as conference halls, for small meetings with capacity of not more than 30 people and equipment. Mbuya Parish Office is always open Mondays through Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Mondays to Fridays, and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays. Write to the parish through post box number 6562 or call the parish hotline 0414 -221777 or simply walk in and visit the beautiful Mbuya Catholic Parish located on Mbuya Hill in Nakawa Division, Kampala District, Uganda. As we celebrate the 53 years of service in Kampala Archdiocese, 
with the leadership of the Komboni missionaries, we would like to be here with you and celebrate the day. I intend to wish all of you a, a joyful celebration of the parish day, thanking you for whatever you do, supporting us who are pastors, shepherds here, but also all those who do something for the evangelization work in our parish. I am grateful to you for all the contribution supporting God's work here, for all the encouragement that you have given us as shepherds, but also of being available especially to be attentive to the needs of the poor and the abandoned, those at the margins of our parish. I thank you and this time the contribution that you have been gathering uh, after agreeing with Apostolic Nuncio, we are going to, to, to send it to our brothers and sisters in Karamoja who have been hit so strongly by the famine. I thank you for your generosity. Let us walk together. It is Christ going ahead of us. Thank you.